Hello, my friend Scott here represents Youth Potential. We're on episode 13 now of uh, Untitled Vlog. So for those of you that are new to the channel, basically I just talk about some of my personal circumstances regarding mental health or just some sort of situation that I'm maybe having uh, problems with. Or I'm also talk about things that I've like, maybe achieved or things that I've done, etc, etc. Uh, it's just a way of me kind of just literally vlogging just things you know and it's an opportunity for you guys to leave comments and if you want to talk about what's been going on with you as well recently um, I, I read all my comments um i don't always reply to them but i do read all of them so i know i haven't been putting out as many videos as i normally do it's it's been difficult i've i've been returning to work um, i'm not going to make the excuse that i haven't had time because i have had time but returning to work sort of like full time it, it's it's made it really hard for me to do anything outside of work just because I feel tired exhausted and emotionally I've not been feeling 100% recently um, yes yeah, some personal stuff going on uh, yeah, I don't there's a particular thing I don't want to talk about here on this video but um I do talk about it in group therapy, which is something that I have started started recently. I've had group therapies before, I've had one-to-one -one therapies before, but this this is a particular uh, therapy session where we kind of all sit around and talk to each other about our current problems, and then we try to give each other sort of like you know shift it, help shift each other's perspective and things like that. It, it, it it's. It's an interesting concept, like we're trying to solve each other's problems. Um, just, you know, I think it's, you know, having something to relate, someone to relate to. Uh, I know group therapy isn't for everyone. Uh, I, I've had a good group before and I've had a bad group before. Uh, but, so, but this one's turned out to be a good good group. Um, it's needless to say, it's it still is emotional, like, this is my third session, uh, the Monday just gone. And it started off with an argument between two two other people. It, it went on for like half an hour and I found that really triggering. Like For me, good people that are arguing, like when it's getting really heated, I find that personally triggering. It just kind of, I think that, you know, is all related to my childhood when I used to see like my mum and dad arguing that when I was like really young. So... Yeah, it's, it's it's never nice for me. I don't know about you, you lot. Maybe arguing triggers you. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't. So yeah, there's been that. Uh, work is kind of easing off at the moment. It's I'm get, I'm getting to a pace where I feel like a lot more comfortable, and it's not taking its toll on my mental health too much. Whereas before, it was work was really busy. So we're going in, getting up at like five, starting work at six. And then sometimes do a, an evening and then do the same again the next morning. It just it's just too much, too too much on the emotions. You know, if it, it, when it when things start to affect you physically, like physically wear you down, that indirectly starts eating away at your emotions. I'm sure you lot know that. I'm sure you've felt it before. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to rest up as much as possible in between, but it's not easy. And I've just found it really hard to motivate myself to to be creative and talk about things but that experience in itself has given me something to talk about on here uh it's not one untitled vlog uh untitled vlog isn't about me teaching anything it's just talking about life just how things how things are at the moment uh just you know being realistic one of the other problems that arises with group therapy is that the parking is really bad around there and i have to pay every time but I couldn't get a parking spot this time, and there's not many parking spaces that are within walking distance. I arrived there at like 10 minutes before starting, and everyone was queuing up outside. I say everyone, it's like five people. Queuing up outside, and I couldn't find a spot. And I was panicking, I was really panicking. I was starting to sweat. Um, breathing was going mad. Finally, some people left about one minute before our session started. Finally got parked up. And I was getting frustrated with myself because I couldn't park the car as much as I, like in the 
the exact position that I wanted it in, and that was frustrating me. And I got out, and I was worrying about the car still. Uh, I paid paid for parking on my phone app, which saves a f few seconds. And then I got there, and the doors are always locked, and you have to try and get their attention to let you in, and it's really hard because they're like through a set of doors, through another set of doors. And you know when you're you know you're facing a time restraint for something. And you know you're so close to getting it done, but that time is running out. And if you're late or if you run out of time, I don't know about you guys, I panic a lot. Really, really do. And I hate it, absolutely hate it. So then I couldn't get their attention. I couldn't get in because the second set of doors are covered by like, there's there's no windows in them, so they can't see if I'm there. Um, oh, after about five, nearly 10 minutes, I got let in and I could continue with the session but you know, it's just these unnecessary little hurdles leading up to things you know just really doesn't help especially therapy like you're on edge already I don't need I don't need more obstacles just popping up and just setting me off so yeah there's that um what else has been going on well in terms of mental health not too much that's just kind of it really uh you know if anyone's new to this channel or haven't been watching for a long time, but just to put things into context, like I've been about five months clean of self-harm now and it is getting hard. Like every day that goes past, it's really hard to not go a day without thinking about it. But I'm trying to do everything I can to stay distracted and reach out, you know, I'm trying to do everything. I do worry about relapse, but at the same time, I have to take my own words of advice and remember that relapse doesn't mean failure. Because uh, I think the more you're afraid of it, you know, it's, sometimes that can make it more likely to happen. Uh, especially when it involves your own behaviours. So I'm trying not to be afraid of it, basically. So, yeah. Okay, everyone, thank you for listening to me, uh, Nataron. Uh, to be honest, it felt like I had to get some things off my chest. And... Now that I say that, it also reminds me of something else. I took off the comments recently for my most viewed video on this channel, which is me uh, sharing my story about my first overdose. Um, and I get a lot of people just asking me for, for tips on attempting suicide. So I took the comments off because it was just getting too much. It had been going on for way too long. And it was bothering me. Uh, as a creator, um, as a person with autism and mental health conditions, you know, having to read things like that almost daily, it, it's, it's soul destroying. You know, as much as there were good comments on there and the video got a lot of likes, or it still gets a lot of likes, it's still hard for me to pick all that up and just take it in and let it rub off. You know, I, I can't, you know, it's hard not to take it personally, so I removed the comments. And if anyone asks me for advice on behalf of a friend, that really hurts me. I feel really insulted. Um, I ask you, please do not leave comments like that on my channel. I don't appreciate it. And I'm sure you wouldn't if someone said that to you. You know, I'll... Would this work? Blah, 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 blah. Asking for a friend. Like, do you think I was born yesterday? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, even if that were true, what good what good friend would you be if you were actually seeking out advice for them? Like, I can understand there are probably some very, very few situations where that would be the case, but please don't ask me for suicide advice because that's just not... That isn't my purpose. That isn't the aim or the direction of youth potential. So, yeah. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. All right. More videos coming soon. Take care.